Canyon ISD families, uh, welcome on Monday, April the 6th, uh, to um, week two of our school at home. And just want to share with you a reminder that the meals that we are uh, providing each day and the locations for those meals, today we had a total of 2,235 meals uh, that were served on Monday. So uh, uh, glad to be able to help out our families there. And then a uh, reminder that it takes week two of instruction, and our parents have done a lot of learning, our teachers have done a lot of learning, certainly our kids. Uh, are doing a lot of learning and that's continuing so let, let's stay in tune with that stay connected with your teacher uh, and we want to thank our teachers so much the way you're reaching out to our kids and our families uh, and the creative lessons that you're doing i even saw that the coaches now have a coaches challenge not only they're pressing the kids to work out but they're also working out themselves and challenging each other as coaches to work out so i appreciate that camaraderie from a distance that's happening with our teachers and our coaches uh, and the messages that go out our online chat, there was 1,523 uh, chats, so uh, be sure and look for that avenue for assistance. We monitor that from 8 to 4. This is Canyon ISD staff that's responding to those chats and your inquiries wherever you need some help. Uh, also, we've had a couple of uh, inquiries about uh, Chromebooks, and I need a Chromebook or need some help there, uh, so I encourage you to email uh, your campus, and uh, those will get responded. Time to, to schedule and get that picked up will be done. And then a reminder this week, too, it's a four-day week. Uh, we're only April 6th today through Thursday as far as school. Then coming up next week, or the end of this week, rather, April the 10th is the Staff Professional Development Day. So students, there's no school on this Friday, April the 10th. Uh, but on April 13th, it's scheduled as a weather day or a snow day, and we're going to use that as a makeup day. Uh, remember that right after spring break, we lost five days of instruction, five days of student learning. And so one of those days we can make that up is April the 13th. So that will be a school at home day. Also, if students are coming to school, let me rephrase that, as students are having school at home, uh, then we get to count that as an attendance day. and We can serve meals. Uh, when it's a professional development day and students are not at school, we can't serve meals. So this allows us not only to make up some learning time, but also to get to serve meals on uh, Monday, April 13th. Uh, next, a reminder of these contact information uh, emails for each campus. So if you see your campus up there, uh, email out questions or concerns or certainly to schedule a, a Chromebook appointment to pick up. Uh, our live chat online on the far left of the screen there, as well as if it's something immediate, call our, call our main office here, 677-2600. Uh, this slide is another uh, slide for you to look at. It has our campus emails, and so if we can help you out, uh, go ahead and, and uh, chime in on one of those emails. Uh, finally, as we prepare for 2021, uh, that online registration has been postponed. Also, if you're a transfer student and you want to submit that application to transfer for next year, we're postponing that as well. Just stay tuned. Uh, we'll post that on canyonisd.net uh, in the future. Uh, some topics this week to look forward to. Uh, first of all, we've had some uh, questions about spring pictures and yearbooks. So we'll gather that information for you, but uh, be looking for that at topics later this week, uh, as well as you might check the campus Facebook and social media from your campus. Also this week, we're gonna address a little more detailed information about grades, GPAs, and class rank. And finally, uh, let's do our part. Let's be a part of the team to rid our society of this COVID-19 virus. Uh, let's make sure we keep everyone healthy and limit the spread of this. Uh, we need to practice our social distancing. Uh, we need to wash our hands often and uh, disinfect those touchable surfaces so that we can uh, get back to normal as soon as we can, and that's by limiting the spread of this virus. Thanks, and have a great day.